What's up, guys? Trey back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about UFC 146. Um, so we pretty much have it confirmed now. Dana White has officially stated on his Twitter, as well as you can check this out on Wikipedia, uh, has the, the main event has been changed to Junior Dos Santos versus Frank Mir. Um, so that being said, um, you know, I want to backtrack a little bit because a couple months ago I did a video talking about this and about the possibility of Frank Mir stepping in. I thought that he would be the most reasonable um, fighter to step in in place of uh, Reem. Um, but Dana White was saying, that, no, you know, no, uh, it's not going to be um, Mir versus uh, versus JDS. It's de Frank Mir versus um, Cain Velasquez is definitely going to continue and go onward. So I, I don't understand why he said that, like why he, you know, he led us all to believe that, you know, we were wrong when we assumed it'd be Frank Mir stepping in when we were actually right. Like, like I don't get that. I don't know if, um, you know, it's because of the situation with Alistair Overeem. There was some controversy with the Reem on, um, you know, because they tested him and apparently they didn't find a banned substance. Uh, they just were able to find that his levels were 14 times that of an average man at that weight. Um, because of that, because of his ratio being so high, they, they uh, apparently it's not illegal. It's not against the rules, uh, at least according to Chael Sonnen, because UFC posted a video by Chael Sonnen basically saying that he didn't test positive for any banned substances, so he should be allowed to fight. But, I mean, you know, a lot of people have argued about this when it comes to the Reem and that kind of stuff. They've said that um, it's possible to get testosterone levels like that without using uh, juice. And pretty simply... How much test booster would you have to take to get 14 times that of a uh, of a normal man's your weight? I mean, that would just be a lot of test booster. Like I, I don't even know if your body could handle that much. You probably have to take like five, six, maybe ten pills of test booster versus or ten uh, times the recommended dosage of test boosters to get even close to that. And I don't know what that would do to your body or whatever. Like that's just, yeah, and that's obviously going to be performance enhancing. I mean, if you have 14 times the amount of testosterone in your body than an average man and you're doing power lifting and you're in the, a weight class where the difference between the lowest and, and the highest point is 60 pounds, obviously that's performance enhancing. So um, the commission, I can't see them allowing Reem to fight regardless, you know, one way or another. Um, so it's just, just the whole situation was very strange. You know, why did Dana White come out and say it wasn't going to be JDS versus Mir at the beginning? You know, and then and then say, oh no, you know, we're going to do that. I just I, I don't get it. Anyway, um, that you know, putting that behind us, it is confirmed now. That's probably what we're going to see. Um, let's see. He has not announced an an opponent for uh, Kane V. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. If Kane is still even going to be on the card, I mean, who knows? According to Wikipedia right now, uh, there's no opponent for Kane. So will Kane still fight on that card? I I don't know. Maybe they'll pull him from the card or something. I could see Kane fight somebody like uh, Bigfoot Silva instead, or Shane Del Rosario could give him a good fight. I think that's a good matchup. You know, uh, there, there are some other guys, too, that he could fight. Maybe Mark Hunt, stuff like that. Uh, there's other guys, too, that Kane V could fight, definitely. There's no question about it. Um, how does the main, the main event uh, go down, in my opinion? So to do a prediction for it, um, I don't see Frank Mir being able to take this. I mean, Frank Mir is an amazing fighter, one of the best mixed martial artists of all time, for sure. I think if you make a list of the top 20, Frank Mir has to be in the top 20. Um, you know, he's one of the best heavyweights. He's the best heavyweight submission artist in the history of the sport. There's no question about that. Uh, I mean, he proved that against Big Nog, defeating him by submission. As soon as that hit the ground, within 30 seconds, Big Nog got his arm broken. So, you know, we know now that Frank Mir is, when you go to the ground with Frank Mir, it's going to be bad. That being said, can he get JDS to the ground? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be able to get JDS down. Uh, his boxing is decent. You know, Frank Mir has got some, you know, some awkward looks, and he throws punches at some at some weird angles. He's got really good uh, footwork. He he moves fast on his feet for how big he is. He's got good head movement. So could he catch JDS? He could actually. He is a very good boxer and has very underrated boxing. That being said, he did get caught against uh, against Big Nog, uh, but you know, previous to that, he knocked out Big Nog. So Big Nog does train with uh, with JDS. So I, I think you'd have to go with uh, JDS's boxing in this match. I think the difference, because Frank Mir's not going to be able to take him down, you know, he's not going to be able to um, use, his wrestling's not good enough to take JDS down. If Carwin couldn't do it, Frank Mir's not going to do it. Um, that being said, I think that, uh, that Frank does have a chance in the stand-up to land some good shots using his awkward angles and his good, you know, head movement and boxing, good uh, uh, footwork. 
Um, but it looks like he's going to have to cut down a little bit because JDS is so fast. JDS is kind of showing everybody in heavyweight division that just because you're 265, you know, and humongous, um, I can still beat you at like 235, 240, whatever it is, just because I'm so much faster than these bigger guys. These bigger guys, you put on that much muscle, you know, and, and you throw on punches and stuff, it does a lot of things. It slows you down. It messes up your timing. It, it just, it, it does a lot of things. You know, when you have all this muscle weight to move around, you know, um, it's, it's going to slow you down. It's going to slow down your movement a little bit. Um, 30 pounds of muscle, and most of it being upper body. If you look at someone like Brock Lesnar, you know, most of his muscle is upper body. Uh, in comparison, just lower body, I'd say. Because he's got relatively small legs compared to his upper body. A lot of other guys are like that, too. Um, you know, at heavyweight. Um, you know, his JDS is being so fast. His speed is really going to be the key here, I think. Um, so I'm going to pick JDS hands down. No question about it. Can Frank Mir win? Oh, yeah, he can, but it'll be an upset if he does. I'm going to go 60-40, 65-35. Uh, yeah, 65-35 for uh, JDS. Not not counting Frank Mir out. He's got, like I said, a 35% chance to win. But, um, you know, not the fight we all wanted to see. You know, we, we wanted to see Ream versus JDS, and unfortunately, it's not going to go down. Um, you know, how do you guys feel about Ream at this point? I mean, I don't even know. Like, you know, he's... He's been on juice probably for how long, you know, and I don't know. I don't like cheaters. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. So Travis Pick and JDS, uh, 65, 35 over Mir. Peace, guys.